What go on my people? So Agent Sasko was an entertainment report with Anthony Miller talking about um his new project, his new album named Hope River. We're gonna listen to this interview and we come back. Grooving on a Tuesday afternoon at his very own home studio somewhere in Stony Hill with a brand new album recorded right here. Yeah, we put your first and second and third, watch your blessings come forth. Hope River, the successor to 2016's theory of regativity, the once assassin not exactly left behind by the future H. and Sasko, but a somewhat somber Jeffrey Campbell, aged 10, covering for his later incarnation on the album cover. The sound reflecting the mix of producers and vocalists he's worked with, from Tribeca, De Seca and Upsetter, to Dre Island, Stephen Marley and Glacier Robinson. But Hope River also reflecting Saska's tendency to go his own way. So one of the things that I um, definitely tried to do was have uh, live music on all of the tracks. I get the most fulfillment from doing music that means more to people than just music. So over the years, you know, anybody familiar with my work will recognize that there are certain songs at all times that, you know, is, is more than just music to me, you know, people. And people tell me all the time, too, boy, you know, them play a song like Same Thing Again or Hand to Mouth, Forget Through Them Day. And that means a lot. So this album was, was you know, done with also that in mind and to me hope river is also a river of hope yeah so i look at it and um you know with a song like winning right now which also is featured on this album you know sort of um, really sets the tone for you know what the overall vibe is but are people actually expecting that sort of vibe from a dj there are different expectations when it comes <laughs> to a dj and what a dj well, is capable of well you know what not necessarily i think uh, over the years I've, I've done enough to you know take myself out of the box and, and the bundle so to speak um, you know, um, I'm, I'm not, you know, limited by any label or trying to, you know, place myself in any corner. So I, I consider myself more an artist than a, a DJ, you know, and I'm, and I'm always a student of the music and trying to, you know, expand on, on my skill sets. So, for example, on this album, I'm doing um, more singing, you know, and which includes, uh, you know, uh, sustaining the notes rather than bam, 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 chopping them as a DJ. And so somebody like Chevron, I made sure to record certain songs he's here to say, boy, DJ, that kind of flat, you know, that sharp, you know, that sort of thing. You know, like I say, I'm a student of the music and therefore, you know, I'm always you know, trying to maximize my potential and grow. Growing up on the banks of the can't take that away from Sasko, currently content to tick his own boxes rather than pursue the big record deal. I passed all that. I had an experience about four years ago. Oh, no, I lied, I don't want to know. How long ago was it? Three or so years ago, where um, a, a significant, big, proper major label um, send a contract come and them actually sign a contract for another song them I got LA, me they are Calabasas and yeah I mean it's all fantastic yo you know what I mean yo the man them say yo just go back to Jamaica hit the gym come January morning thing gone come March no call come April no call and I remember um, you know like three weeks you know what I mean that sort of expectation and then boom nothing you know, that's significant disappointment. I mean, this was going to be it, you know what I mean? For months, may I dream about this thing, may I see it, may I see everything. It's like, yo, you know what I mean? This is what every artist dream about. I remember I get up one morning, I'm wash my face, I'm looking at the mirror and say, then my bridging. All right, so the man on the call, you said, this is the end of you, you feel, so this is all you have to contribute to the world. Stop your foolishness, yeah, man. This album and the last one, you know, produce it myself, not waiting on anyone. And I find that there's great freedom in that. In other words, first that thing a man might want to come tell you, if them sign you, say, you know what, we're going to need you to, you know, succeed up a little bit. And them start, you know, change who, who me want to be and represent. I'm, I'm not about, I'm not about to... Um, go down that road again. I've, I've been there with record company and they want me to rub down my, my abs with, with coconut oil and thing <laughs> that. You know what I mean? My past that. So I want to I want to represent myself and if a company is coming along and them understand that, say, listen, you know, we believe in what you, you're doing and what you represent, I'm all for it. But if you're going to come and try to tell me about which demographic we need to appeal to and start talking all of that, not interested. Sasko, very different from the 17 year old who started off as a DJ 17 years ago. But he isn't trying to rewrite the past. Jeffrey Campbell, Assassin, Agent Sasko, it's all one journey. You know, I never felt like I had to, you know, do the 
you know, or what people might consider some of the things that you have to do. So that them tell me from man and say, should have pierced my ears because the girls are going to like it and thing. That's just not my thing. And they told you to clash with, uh, with Cartier. You know what I mean? Point. All of that. You, know, you, you backed out to that real fast. Well, like I say, you have to choose, you have to choose your direction and, and you know, have a uh, sort of confidence and, you know, self-assurance and strength to stick with it and, and uh, especially for the long haul. You know I mean? This is now almost 20 years. And most importantly, I know that my better days are ahead of me. In other words, all of that time, all of that assassin time and, you know, 10-year-old me time, all of that is really uh, the steps necessary for the work that I am to do moving forward. So for example, I've never had a student before dedicated to working whenever I feel like, you know, right in the basement, we can come down in my pajamas and get it done. So how can I not improve and, and advance? And, and like again, like I said, this album represents a lot of that. Never give up and we never lose up and we... Press Sasko for an off-color sound bite and you get something like this. I have to deal with the same kind of stimuli everybody faces, you know what I mean? You get bombarded by the good, the bad and the ugly. The difference is Anthony, and this is no, this is no sales pitch and no um, angle or, or what, or, you know, what, take it as it is. What, the, the truth of the matter is, man, I've gone through several years of frustration personally um, and my, you know, coming out of that and, and, and finding new tools for process the information that everybody have to process. I'm telling you that negatives and whatever, I'm going to process them different now. Somebody might come to me with a story and be like, DJ, hear that thing. You can't believe it. Bridging after I go around there and Rary and this and that happen. I may hear it, may I hear it, right? I'm going to see which part them they with the meds and everything. And I can, I can remember when my mind would have processed it exactly like that. But then now, when I hear that and thing, it's like, all right, me hear what you say. But you know, differently still, and, and, and you just process it a different way. So, the, so, one so the one thing is that I wish everybody could have, have the same kind of processing mechanism. I thank you, Lord. But back to Hope River. So you have these gospel elements kind of going on there and these other sort of bouncy, Stevie Wonder-esque kind of, um, mm -hmm. you know, these, Stevie Wonder's on my favorite and, artist. And moving in that sort of thing where you have to sort of, um, you know, inspire young people and get them to think of themselves in different ways. You think people are going to be startled by this album? You think even after hearing theory of negativity, you're going to surprise a few people? Well, so going off the response that I've had so far with people, you know, inviting to listen to the album, there is that sort of, boy, wow, you know, certainly not expecting this in terms of, uh, like you say, I've done, I've been DJing for 17 years and people get kind of accustomed to what you, 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 you do predominantly and they're looking for that. Well, this is not that, as, as, you, as you can attest to. Never sell out and never sell down, no. So it's something you're particularly proud of because you're surprising people and people like to do that. Of course, if you can still surprise people in a good way after 17 years, good job. So people, that's Agent Sasko, you see me talking about um, his new album and a person that he is as a dancehall artist and saying a lot of stuff about um, coming about, how his life come about and doing two different projects and identify himself kind of different than um, a dancehall artist or a DJ. You know what I mean? People, let's dissect into um, most of what Assassin is saying now. So Assassin, um, I'm not a, a, a surprise of Assassin um, album, album Hope River because from I've been watching Assassin and following Assassin over the years. I know that Assassin was one of the... Um, the intelligent um, dancer artist where has this capability. You know what I mean? Even his previous al album, which is um, almost the same thing, it, it, it kind of um, make him more of this type of a person. You know what I mean? Even though he's saying but he's not a dancer artist, he's not a, um, a DJ, he's an entertainer. I don't see anything wrong with him um, being a DJ because according to what Anthony Miller was asking him, he's like, saying that you're a DJ, you don't have certain intellect. And that's not the case because since the Kalonji is an intellect, is a DJ, Vibes card is an intellect, is a DJ, just to name a few. I mean, I live out any other person. I'm just saying, you know what I mean? But people, assassin me people, me have to respect assassin because assassin has never diluted himself for really fit in a no box, as he says, you know what I mean? And he always 
maintain this, this person of uh, intelligent person where he still can do um street music he do girl music and he do music where it really perplex the meds you know what i mean he do social commentary so he's a really talented person so it was no surprise to me you know what i mean because growing up i used to see a whole heap of young youth where really patternize um assassin style want to sing like assassin you see me so it is no surprise that assassin is one of really the better entertainer in dance hall i don't know why he's not getting a crossover break you see me about assassin the people when it comes to these type of music and i will encourage anyone to listen to his music you see me because assassin is one of the better artists when it comes to really delivering these type of really controversial or this these type of perplexing songs you see me and people he said something that i really find interesting where um he's saying that about three years ago they tried to sign him and um supposed to call him back and they didn't call him back this is what i i feel like is going on people need to remember that dancehall music come with a, a, a certain authenticity where it kind of bash a lot of things and most of these big recognized um publishes publishing company or producer they don't want to stand behind an artist where the artist was previously heard bashing certain things you see me so that is for one while dancehall artists are getting shunned by some of these major labels or some of these major um publicists you see me so I, i'm not saying assassin is a victim of it but i'm just saying that's um also a perspective that people should really take into consideration where dancehall music is concerned and why um some of these dancehall artists are not being signed by major label uh, um abroad you see me but assassin didn't sign i don't know for what reason he said they call him and they just um didn't um call him back after but i think he has a great body of work you see me and for assassin not getting the forward now in the future his song is gonna live on you see me because remember you know, people just people like all bob marley you know he wasn't getting the forward and now bob marley songs are more even relevant than his, his name you see me so assassin good body of work would speak for him itself in due time to come and i will encourage assassin to continue to do the work my brother you see me big up yourself assassin and you see me and the whole entire kentire peace I'm out. work in the country you have to look pan and him do great works too can even do him the jail him still be the champion dj boy yeah. and some boy we said them didn't want him go jail the biggest dance hall analyst in the world ninja man the biggest dance hall analyst in the world ninja man i am saying that Winfred Williams. take me on on that if you wish